plotting points. One of the most useful features of the graphing calculator is its ability to plot points. We can plot points by going to the stat button and then pressing enter and we get this view. Let's go ahead and enter the points 3 comma 5, negative 2 comma 6, and negative 1 comma negative 5. And here to enter 3 comma 5, we enter first the 3, then press enter, and then we can arrow over to the right and press 5 and then enter. So now we've entered 3 comma 5. We can enter negative 2 comma 6 in the same manner. So we've done that. And we can enter negative 1 comma negative 5. And now from here, we're going to graph yet we don't see any points, but we should see them. Why do we not see the points? Well, the reason we don't is because we need to activate the plot one. And to do that, we go to Y equals, and we arrow up to plot one, and press enter. And from here, we can graph, and we do now see the three points we entered. Now let's look at a problem. An equation can be used to model the relationship between the total cost Y and the number of airplane tickets X that are purchased as given in this table. Which equation best describes this functional relationship? Well, we can use the STAT feature, and we're going to clear out the existing points we entered earlier. To do that, we're going to arrow up to L2, and when we arrow up to L2, we then press clear, after pressing clear, we press the down arrow and it clears out all those y-coordinate values. Now we're, we're going to go over to L1, and if we go to 3, instead of doing what we did last time, we're just going to hit delete. And we can hit delete individually to get rid of those points. So we can go up to the L1, press clear, then down arrow, or just go to the coordinates themselves and just keep on hitting delete. Now, one thing that's possible to do is you can go up to L1 instead of pressing clear. What if you press delete? Well, what that does is it makes L1 disappear. And this can happen frequently on a graphing calculator, particularly one you share with others in a public school. And in order to take care of it, resetting the memory won't help. This is how you can restore the lost L1 or L2. What you do is you go to stat, enter and then you scroll down to setup editor 5 and you press enter twice and it says setup editor done you can go to stat enter and you can see that L1 is restored so let's go ahead and enter the X coordinate values 2 5 and 8 and then under L2 we enter the Y coordinates value 360 900 and 1440 and now we're going to go graph it and wait a minute we turn on plot 1 we don't see we don't see it well, the problem is, is that the uh, points that we plotted are way outside the view, standard viewing window. And so we're going to need to change this, this viewing window. And I guess we could look at the table and analyze what we'd have to do to do it. But fortunately, there's a feature in your calculator that does it automatically. It's called Zoom Stat. And you go down, scroll down to 9 or just hit 9. And what it does, it shows all the three points. If we go back to window, we can see the dimensions that the calculator determined in order for you to be able to see those three points. So it does it automatically for you. Very powerful feature. Now, now that we've done this, we can graph and make sure we can go to our problems and enter y equals x plus 180. And we enter that in y equals, and we graph and we don't see any line coming anywhere near any of those three points and so that is quite obviously going to be a wrong answer we hope so we cross that out now we're going to go to choice B we press in 90x plus 270 we graph it and we do see the line this time but the line does not come does not touch any of the three points and so that is a wrong answer we cross that out now we're going to proceed to choice C by entering 180x and after we do that we graph and we see that the line does hit all the three points and so that shows that it's our right answer. So a very helpful feature using zoom 9 and then plotting the functions in to determine which of them hit the points. And we're going to go to second y equals which gives you the stat plot menu 
and then we press enter and what it does it gives us a uh, an opportunity to reset the dimensions of your, of your plotting and first of all it can be switched on or off it's on in this case the second thing is the type the normal type is the one we've chosen with single points but there are other options you can also choose your X list and the Y list in this case it's standard L1 and L2 they can be changed and finally the different the mark can be changed it can be a square mark, it can be a, a plus sign or a little dot. What we're going to do is change the mark to the plus sign. We just arrow over and press enter, and so the plus sign is now going to be our default value. And so we're going to go to our graph, and we can see that we have plus signs where we had little squares before. What we're going to do now is go to Stat, Enter, and we have our little points again and we're going to go to zoom 6 which is zoom standard and now we can see our original triangle with the plus signs where little squares were before we're going to go to stat enter and we're going to take the top point 3 comma 5 and we're going to enter a duplicate of that point below and once we do that we can go to second y equals and press enter and we're going to change the type from individual points there. We're going to go over to the right one under type. And this setting gives you connected points. And from here, when we graph, we see that the three points of the triangle are connected. So this feature is very helpful if you need to go ahead and uh, draw polygons where you want to have lines connecting the vertices of that particular polygon. Now, um, one thing that you can get when you graph is a dimension mismatch. When this happens, go to go to Stat, Enter. In this case, we have a, a uh, x coordinate of 3 plotted, and we don't have a corresponding y coordinate value. And so that's why you have a dimension mismatch message. So look out for that. If that happens, you should have an idea of what to do. Now, to summarize, first of all, we plot points by going to stat enter and plotting the points. Secondly, we need to make sure we have the plot one turned on and y equals. Three, we can set the window with zoom stat and zoom standard to uh, focus in on our, our current data or go back to a standard window for zoom six and zoom standard. Four, we can change the settings of our plot in stat plot. We've had an introduction to that today. And finally, if you have a dimension mismatch error, you need to go back to press Stat, Enter, and see what's going on there. I hope this video has been helpful to you. hope you'll be able to learn a lot watching the lessons.